What's up, YouTube? Cold Ice Ice Prince is coming at you from Minnesota. And um, before I get started with the video, I gotta let y'all see something. As thousands took to the streets to protest the NYPD's Stop and Kiss program, the policy, which allows officers to kiss anyone who they think looks suspicious, has been the subject of criticism from those who say it's a violation of privacy and a potential breach of constitutional mm. rights. New Yorkers Jesus. who stopped often say the encounters feel extremely intrusive. Going through my pockets, throwing my stuff on the ground, kissing me on my neck and face. They push me up against the wall and start nibbling on my ear. It's humiliating. It's something you learn to live with at this point. Every time I go out and I see a cop, I'm ready for him to come up, ask me questions, and give me a little kiss. Just because, you know, the color of my skin. I mean, you don't see them kissing any pretty white ladies out here. In his last month in office, Mayor Bloomberg has continued to defend the practice, saying, quote, This program helps keep New Yorkers safe. If someone is suspected of a crime, officers should be allowed to question them and leave them with a small and reasonable kiss on the mouth. Joining us now is legal analyst Susan Hughes and Mark Brennan, a former police officer who has defended the Stop and Kiss program. Susan, does this policy go too far? It does, Rachel. Look, it's one thing to kiss someone who you think might commit a crime, but these officers are just kissing people mm. right with no probable cause. If you've got nothing to hide, then Jesus. it's not a they just Oh, Jesus. Ask where you're going, give you a gentle kiss or two, and Oh, my God. Ooh, that was a long one. ...people and kiss them, but it has to be done in a colorblind way. I mean, the fact of the matter is, nine out of ten people who are kissed under this policy in New York are black and Latino. Yeah, that's because officers are kissing people in high crime areas. These kisses aren't racially motivated. The police are just doing their job. But Mark, there have been examples, public examples, where these procedures have just gone too far. Let's take a look at a disturbing cell phone video that's been making the rounds on the internet. Stop! Put your hands on your head. Oh, come on, man. They just kissed me two blocks ago. Come on, man. Oh, do Jesus. Something. Stop and let me kiss you. Oh, my God. This is happening every day. But some argue this is just the unfortunate reality we live in. Tighter security at airports, sporting events, kiss points in Washington, D.C. Commissioner Kelly said, quote, this is what post 9-11 police work looks like. Honestly, if we could kiss everyone in New York City, we would. We just don't have the manpower. Look, the cops can either kiss people now before there's violence, or they can be kissing a bunch of dead bodies at a crime scene. All right, well, thanks, Mark and Susan. It is a complex issue. When we okay, so now I'm back. Did you guys see that video of them cops kissing men's in the mouth? When I saw that, I'm thinking to myself, is this shit for real? Is this for real or is this a joke? Are they for real walking up to total strangers that they don't know and kissing them in the mouth? I mean... Are they trying to take people to jail? Are they trying to fill up the jails more with black men and men of color? Because there ain't too many people I know that just want total strangers walking up to them, hauling off and kissing them in the mouth. Who knows what some of them men's breath smell like? They probably been sucking on pussy and drinking coffee all day. And smoking cigarettes and drink eating damn sardines out the can with crackers and hot sauce and now you're gonna come up to a total stranger that ain't never seen you before in his entire life and you just gonna kiss him in the mouth and on the neck ew that's just gross beyond belief don't nobody want your nasty mouth ass kissing on them you, oh, when I seen that video, y'all, it just did something to my insides. I mean, first of all, you're supposed to have your personal space. You know what I mean? You got your little bubble that you in. People are supposed to ask you if they can even give you a hug. You know what I'm saying? That's why we do handshakes or high fives or daps. You know what I mean? And for, the, for these police officers, and they say high crime here, high crime areas, where they're mostly doing this to people of color. You coming up to this grown ass man who is not your lover. And you are kissing him on his mouth and on his neck. Now, I think you asking for trouble. 
Mm-hmm. I think you done sat around in the police station and you done said, um, yeah, we're going to lock up a whole bunch of, I ain't going to say the word, we're going to lock, lock up a whole bunch of people of color today. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to kiss them. Now, first of all, kisses should be shared by people who love each other. I know damn well if you plotting against this man and you trying to fill up your jail and meet your quota that you ain't got no love for this person. You understand what I'm saying? So you kissing on this person because you want to point him out that he could possibly be doing something wrong. They say post 9-11. The people who did the 9-11 things were not even Americans. Not saying that anybody should be stalked or profiled. But if these police officers going to kiss on another man, that should at least be their lover. You know, it just makes me think again about... um demasculinizing the black man you know because in this country um white america has always sort of been um i can say a little bit more accept accepting of the black woman you know what i'm saying they let us be in the house and cook their food and um take care of their kids and uh, uh shit do every damn thing in the house like we was the woman of the house. Even feed their damn babies with our breast milk. You understand? And then it, it makes me think about too how in uh, slavery times they would do something called um, buck breaking. If I'm not mistaken, that was the word. Where they would tie, tie the black men up with their hands and their feet tied up, spread eagle, and they would um, sodomize the men um, with different types of anal sex and, and, and probably sex with humans, sex with animals, sex with objects. I mean, just do anything possibly that their evil minds could come up with to sodomize this person. And I use the word sodomize because, um, you know, it's a difference. Somebody could be in a homosexual relationship where they love each other and they're kind and they're gentle with each other. But then there's a sodomite. A person who is doing something that is totally against another person's will. And you are basically breaking that person's spirit. You understand? So when I see them police officers in New York City kissing on them men like that. I know the men that they are doing that too are going home feeling some kind of way. And I know that the men that they are doing that too have to think twice or even three times before they haul off and punch one of them officers dead in the nose or in the eye or choke them around the neck. Because that's one thing you do not do to a black man, especially after the history of things and suffering that our people have went through in this country, is another man coming up and kissing him on the, the mouth or on the neck. The whole thing with um, men on men thing, that was not something that originated in Africa. That was something that was brought to Africa by the Europeans, the French, and the Portuguese. Now, a lot of places in Africa still to this day do not acknowledge nor do they accept any type of homosexuality the countries in africa that accept more homosexuality were countries that were colonized by the french so this whole thing with men being with men has been a huge taboo in the african culture in the african diaspora so for them to come up and kiss another big, strong buck on the lips like they would do during slavery times, that is like an ultimate humiliation to do to a black man. And I believe 
They want some of these men to react. They want some of these men to reach out and put hands around their neck so that they can beat them or arrest them or even kill them. Because the things that they are doing is unbelievable. That you would think that's, that this is okay. And it's like I sat back and, and watched that video and I'm like, is this for real? Is this a joke? Because I'm pretty sure if they did that to one of my brothers, my brother would be in jail or dead. You know, it's a different story when you are in a relationship with another man and that's what you do. But even to again, I don't know too many gay guys who want a damn stranger coming up, kissing them on the lips unless they know the person or love the person or are involved in a relationship with the person. You just don't walk up and kiss somebody, invade somebody's space with your nasty mouth, mouth ass and kiss them on the lip. Just haul off and just kiss them on the lip. You know what I mean? Some of them police officers are going to be surprised when they walk up to the right one and go to kiss them. And that, then that man put, put his tongue all the way down that police officer's uh, throat. They're going to run up to a real true freak who's going to like it. And gonna kiss them and put his whole tongue down their nasty mouth throat. I don't know what the hell they doing in New York City, but um, I'm glad I live in cold ass Minnesota. So as always, y'all, thank you for watching my videos. It's been Cold Ass Ice Princess coming at you from Minnesota. Grace and peace.